So I was sitting in the hallway of Guthri Castle and I was waiting for my cab. And it was the last day the seminar had just ended. And I was just reflecting on my notes. And this was the book that was provided to us by Dan Pena. It's a, it's a register where you, you take notes in the seminar. And after the seminar was over, I noticed there was a back page. And in that back page, there was a message by Dan Pena. And I want to read that message out to you. And this is just before I left the castle to build my company, to make my dreams a reality. I had just learned a business model that would change and transform my life forever. It was a business model to acquire million dollar companies starting with little or no money. And it was taught to me by Dan Pena. And here is a message. This is the final message that was in a written format at the end of this notebook. So I want to read it to you. Uh, it's a little bit long, but it's, it's interesting. So stick with it. New QLA mentees. There are no compression algorithms for experience. No one coaching high performance wealth creation has even modicum of my worldwide experience. And unlike other, the other gurus, I created wealth for myself before I begin coaching. You have now attended the castle seminar. No other place on the planet gives you the information you received. It is the perfect metaphor for yesterday's dreams are today's realities. Guthrie Castle was my dream and I made it a reality in only 17 months. What the fuck do I have to show you? You scared dummies. How can I lure you other than with the one year long free mentorship? Why do you think QLA has accomplished so much in the last 25 years? QLA ideas, mindsets, thought processes work. Even if not called QLA, but you must take action. You must just fucking do it. It will never be this good in your lifetime again. The QLA format and model will never be clearer. I was so positive QLA worked for anyone after creating my wealth. I have spent most of my adult lifetime dragging you dummies across the finish line. Creating many tens of billions in addition to the financial markets worldwide going crazy without you. The teenage millionaires phenom, the Canadian kid who did a $6 million, $50 million and $500 million in a month. A major investment bank who put a 1 billion blind pool for oil and gas assets and neon the 500 billion dollar mega city of the future and much more much more that would take many pages to describe what does it take you kids to make a change the world planet the fucking universe to date has passed your lives by till you arrived at the Guthrie castle gates what the fuck will financial wealth get farther away you are all running out of runway. Time is precious. Go out from Guthrie and run towards the gunfire and just fucking do it. Not sure how much longer I will give seminars. Kids are doing deals daily with QLA information. Why not you? Well, now you have even fewer excuses than you did before because you have now graduated from the finest no money acquisition program ever devised and taught. Here therefore, because you didn't believe you deserved wealth or due to your fear of failure, and yes, you can thank your parents. As I told you all week, I will not waste time on kids that don't want change. Or as I tell you, don't waste time on things you can't change. What are you going to tell your kids and grandkids when asked? What were you doing during the greatest transformation the world has ever seen? I feel sorry for these, your kids, not you lazy, low self-esteem dummies that are too scared to act in your own best interests. 
You may not like how I call you scared snowflakes, but what I say is what the Lord knows vis-a-vis -vis creating wealth. There is no one better at high performance coaching, creating equity value, starting with no money on this planet Earth. And you have no one to blame for not taking action but yourselves to your quantum leap in business and life. So that was the message that I that I read just before I left the Guthrie Castle. And it made me think that I have now the information. So far, the, the only excuse that I had was I don't know how. I have big dreams. I'm willing to take the risk. I'm willing to take the action. But I don't have the information. And I don't have the right mentor. And that was my excuse that was holding me back. And I came up with the money and I gave it to Dan Pena and I got the information. And what am I going to do about it right now? And how am I going to implement this, what I have learned? And I, my whole life was just passing in front of me like a flash. It was kind of like a drug trip, you know, like I was just going through such a rapid level of reflection um, at the castle and everything was just passing by and all the th all the actions I didn't take all the opportunities that I missed right from the school days you know whether it's a debating competition or a powerful position or taking a more leadership role like just this constant state of holding myself back this pattern of holding myself back and just kept keeping like myself safe and keeping myself in the shadows and on the back seat in the class and not being an active participant and not exposing myself to extraordinary people, to extraordinary opportunities. And I just learned something that could just make me hundreds and hundreds of millions of dollars. So I read this message and I was like, you know, I mean, he's right about everything. And I need to take more risk and I need to put myself on the line and I need to just execute and be serious. And by this time I had decided I'm going to go into healthcare. I had decided on my business model that I'm going to be buying businesses based on what Dan Pena taught me. I had a couple of ideas of who is going to be my chairman. So I, before even leaving the castle, I had all of this down. I had it, everything so clear in my mind. And all I had to do was just keep the negative people away and keep the people who are not related to my goals away and just be focused on the pathway that has been set. I don't ever have to think about what to act or what is the next step? I will always know what the next step is because I'm trained by him and it's completely clear what to do. It's completely clear what to do when things go wrong and everything is clear. All I have, I, I need now is the balls to act and the balls to expose myself in front of extraordinary people. And I had set up a meeting with a man that was worth around 500 million pounds. And I was going to meet him uh, and propose him to be my chairman. So that's what happened as I was leaving the Guthrie Castle. I read this message. And one of the, the things that struck me in the message was what he said, that the, the model of QLA is never going to be clearer in your life. And I knew that it's so clear in my mind what to do. If I don't execute it, I will never internalize it. And if I don't execute it, then this will just be a model that I know of. Kind of like an idea that you never execute. And you never know what could have been possible. If, if, um, it, and you know, you, you really never know what's possible until you execute it. And to execute, take, to execute takes sacrifices, risk, and focus and balls and that is what needs to be employed uh, you got to sacrifice time with people who may be important to you but it's important that you do that for your dream and even for them 
and I also felt a responsibility for the future generations. I also felt the responsibility that right now I don't have kids or wife, but one day I will have a wife and one day I will have kids. What would be their opinion of me as a father? What would be their opinion of me as a role model? My weakness or my lack of courage or my lack of risk taking will pass on to the next generation. And how will my children look up to me? You know, and how will they respect me? And, and I started to think about these things and it started to become more about the, you know, not just me, but it, my success would affect everything would affect the future generation, would affect what my mother did for me, you know, the sacrifices that she went through to raise me. I'm in a way fulfilling her, all the efforts that she put into me. If I'm just lazy and if I, if I don't do anything, if I don't take the risk, what good was it? What good was all that sacrifice that she did? You know, as a single mother, taking all the loans to educate us. What good was that if I don't stand up, if I don't expose myself, if I don't put myself out there in front of the camera, in front of the news, in front, you know, I wanted to be on the billboards, on the news, uh, and I wanted to build big companies. I wanted to be an important figure so that she can see it. My, my future children can see it. My people in the future generations look up to me as a role model. And and to do that, I had to be more, be all I could be. And I had to act like I had no limits to my abilities, as Dan Pena said. And I had to dream and I had to expose myself and put myself through hell if, if necessary to be exceptional and to be extraordinary and to make extraordinary dreams happen. And then I stepped outside and me and my brother was walking and we looked at the Guthri castle and it was also magnificent. It was, it had a big lawn in front, big estate, it had a lake and that whole place seemed surreal. I had never seen a house like that. And suddenly all the dreams that I had ever seen, I could see it around me because Dan Pena had accomplished it and he had just shared how to do it and I have a pathway and it's up to me now. The burden is up to me. He has done his job. My mother has done her job and the whole, you know, burden is, is on my shoulders now to perform. And this time will never come back. I'm never going to be this young. I'm never going to be single, you know, and I'm in the best position to do it. If I do it, I'm going to have an extraordinary life. If I don't do it, I will have life full of regrets. And he had made that very clear. And his role was over. In the message, it says that there's going to be a one year mentorship program, but we didn't have that. He had already canceled it. So. He had discontinued it because he didn't think it was necessary anymore. And so I was not going to see him. And all the challenges that are going to come will be for mine to solve. So it was really, I was looking into the future and my idea about the future also had transformed because I didn't know what was possible until I came to the seminar. He had shown the case studies. I had met people who had actually closed deals and who were making their dreams happen. I had met uh, people who had ex-prime ministers and ex-presidents of countries on their boards. Things that I thought were just impossible. I had seen people just like me do. And there was a whole world of experience that had opened up, a whole world of information and reference experiences that of other people you know that I was exposed to and I had something in my hand that was so rare this piece of information that has created billions in the world and 
I have access to this. And I felt like I was part of a secret society almost where these people know about something and they don't want to share it with anybody and very few people know about it and it's like a closed community and it is a very closed community but we look at each other and we relate to each other like winners so I felt I was part of that group I felt I had this information I felt privileged but I also felt a lot of burden and I also felt a lot of fear because I would have no one to turn to but myself and it was a strange feeling of power and it was a strange feeling of like clarity I felt like a lot of garbage had been washed out of my system like things like doubts and so many things like just had left my system and everything around me felt like very clear and alive it, it felt like I was I was alive and I had this power in my hands to make things happen to bring people together to bring capital together to bring deals together to make money and so far I had dreams and ideas in my mind but I didn't know how to breathe those into existence and I just learned a system with which like any project that I have in mind I can source people I can source capital and I can like make it happen like make it real and I felt like that electrifying uh, sensation that anything that I think about from here on I can execute on I have a complete framework of how to do that and it was an extraordinary experience and then I met the guy worth 500 million pounds I ended up closing him initially he said no later on that that's fine but I ended up getting into a partnership with a 3.5 billion dollar CEO which I had never done and I didn't think it was possible but I did it uh, I built a partnership with a lawyer that was you know that has advised on 13 billion dollar bank uh, finance uh, bank um, merger I negotiated with over 40 different law firms most of them were billion dollar law firms I negotiated with around a uh, hundred bankers gave present you know around four or five hundred presentations completely transformed my level of confidence and self-esteem I got the CFO of a 400 million dollar company to be my business partner top lawyers who had organized Olympics to be my business partners I mean all kinds of crazy stuff right negotiating with public companies billion dollar public companies billionaires you know um, and it has been an extraordinary experience and I could feel it on that last day that all of this is coming and much more and I wanted to meet royal family members I met royal family members I wanted to meet people in powerful positions I met the senator of Netherlands uh, through one of my contacts uh, in the seminar and uh, I've, I'm around people who have done things which are really really big and so far I hadn't been around people who had done those things and now I've been around people who have done tens of millions and tens of billions in transactions uh, around me through my advisors through people I know um, and I'm just connected with the circle who just operate on a different information and it was so funny that the seminar became the catalyst after that everything in my life changed and that's what happens when you come in contact with a piece of information that just works you know it's kind of like almost studying principles of science like things that you didn't think were possible start to happen just because you understand some principles you know and it was it was a surreal surreal experience so I just wanted to share that with you here today. I'll talk to you soon. <laughs>